Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in the vice I've got a Kamazan B175, size 14. And the thread I'm going to be using is a black shear uh, 14 uh, The fly I'm going to tie is, is basically my all-time favourite beetle uh, imitation. Uh, most people, when there's, when, when there's a beetle hatch, the first thing they reach for is the, the foam back beetles or you know something that, that's... Uh, Going to, they're going to fish off the top, which which is fine. They all work well, but this this one's definitely my favourite. Uh, it's caught a huge amount of fish for me when, when there's been beetle hatches. Uh, it's one of the first flies I ever tied as well. It's a really really simple fly to tie. Ba basically, if you're just picking up fly tying, if you're just learning, uh, this is one of the flies that that you can tie and you can be really successful with. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong, I love fishing off the top, but I just find when 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 the beetles are on, sometimes there's a wee bit more to be gained from, from fishing subsurface rather than, than off the top. So anyway, we'll we'll get on with this is a this is a black jumper. So we'll just run a layer of thread down. As I say it's simple fly to tie, it's only got two materials. First material is some ostrich herald dyed black. And then we've got some Raffia, black raffia. Yeah, this is a synthetic one. Uh, it's basically just plastic. Uh, when, when I tied the, the the fly originally, it was the the natural raffia, which is just it's basically just like grass. But uh, I think you probably need to go to like a craft shop or something for that uh, nowadays. And it, it wasn't overly reliable. The 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 synthetic stuff's much better uh, in terms of robustness. Uh, the 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 grass stuff tend to it would tend to split when you when you had a fish or two on it. So, so yeah, we'll we'll start off. We just cut a wee section of the of the raffia, and we'll just tie it in. And I'm just going to tie it in. Just trim that way. I'm just going to tie it in, pretty much between the between the point and the barb. Now, how far back you go with the raffia basically dictates the size of the fly. So you can have them really really short, and you could have them halfway up the shank. Uh, Really uh, depends on, on what you're after. Uh, you can you can chop and change. Let's secure that down. That's fine. And then we'll come in with our ostrich header. We'll get two strands of it. Just even that off. Now some people like to lead this. Uh, I've never bothered to be honest. I, I find that fish is just uh, just as well without any kind of added weight. I actually think when you add the weight, it, it drops through the through the water too quickly. So anyway. Just wind our ostrich head up. It's about right. Again, this is another one of these flies that you don't have to be too too neat with. Trim that off. And basically we we'll just slick this stuff back down. Just wet your fingers. Just slick it down. Thumb and forefinger. Just like that. And then you bring your raffia over the black. You see what I mean about the 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 raffia dictates the size where you where you where you place that. I mean you could have it we, we used to tie them originally we used to tie them in curve hooks so we tie them like a a B one ten or something like that. Uh, and you you get a different kind of different profile to the fly. I, I quite like them on the, the straighter hooks I always found them 
uh, much better than the straighter hooks. Let's turn that away. And then just tidy off the head. finish. Sometimes I'll put a wee throat hackle in, uh, just a wee black throat hackle. I'm not going to bother this time, this, this, this is all you need, this is absolutely all you need. We touch varnish. A lot of guys will varnish the, the raffia. Uh, I've never found the need to. What you can do is if if you don't want to lead it, but you want to add a wee bit of weight, you could you could uh, put some resin on on the on the back. You could use shell back and stuff for, for these types of things. Uh, I, I've chopped and changed over the years and tried loads of different things, but I've never found anything that catches me more fish uh, than this style. This is the this is the original the original uh, style that I learned to tie in. Just try and show you a wee bit closer. I'm not quite sure how this camera's picking things up. There you are. So that's the black jumper. Thanks for watching. Cheers.